Hi and welcome. My name is Petra and welcome to my channel if you're new. If uh, you're here already, thank you for joining me in another vid video. Uh, I have something that came in the mail and uh, I'm excited to open it up with you. Uh, actually, I have been waiting for this for a while now. Uh, let me just give you a little peek. And now probably some of you know what this is all about. Uh, I have made an order with uh, Colin from Internal Leather Goods. Uh, and I actually ordered my first ever pocket-sized cover. Never owned a pocket size. I do own a couple of pocket sized notebooks. And I wanted to see what it's all about. Uh, I have previously owned uh, a cover from Colin, but it didn't work out for me. Uh, I had a Hobonichi Weeks cover in the natural leather and we just weren't a good fit. So I have since then let that one go. But now I'm excited to share this one with you. Uh, I have uh, took a little peek inside just to make sure uh, everything is good and I have removed my private information. So yeah, let's get to it. And here it is. It's the pocket wide configuration because let's just get straight to the point. Uh, my idea was to use it with the moleskin pocket daily. As you can see, it's quite a thick little book because uh, even though it is pocket size, it has a day on each page, so there's quite a lot of pages. And also, as I use it as a um, catch-all creative journal, like everything goes, notes, uh, drawings, uh, painting exercises, uh, gouache, watercolor, just so, I mean, it's all over the place. <laughs> it's like an experimental thing. Uh, for that reason, I expect it to also bulk up. I'm not being gentle with this. I'm not being precious with this. So yeah, um, that's the whole idea. Uh, I decorated this cover with a beautiful uh, sticker by an artist uh, who does uh, woodcut and lino cut. I will leave her information down below because her work is amazing. I do own one of her uh, lino prints and uh, I often reach out to her shop because of the wonderful stickers with her uh, lino cut designs. Um, okay, let's try it out. As I said, I did take a peek. And as you can see, uh, his leather has, well, most often you will get a piece of leather that has this pebbly texture, because it's the pebbly kind of leather. Uh, he does offer some other type of leather in the smooth texture. So uh, make sure that when you make an order, you know what you're choosing. And this particular one, here is the card. This particular one uh, has the most simple configuration. This is a secretarial or a slip pocket, the back pocket, a simple pen loop and four elastics. So regarding elastics, um, I was debating should I get them or not because I intend to um, just tuck this into the cover and use it like that. But Maybe in the future, if I want to change out the configuration, elastics will come in handy. So they're here, they're gonna stay in for now. I can always remove them. I don't mind the holes, so we'll see. Uh, regarding leather, so if you want to, um, if you want to see what and how you can, in all other ways, configure this uh, pocket size notebooks, I will leave uh, a link to uh, a channel down below. Uh, her videos uh, are amazing and there's one specific video when she, where she talks about all about the pocket size notebook from Eternal Leather Goods and what you can do with the regular and with the wide configuration because there is a significant difference in the width of the notebook. So be sure to check that out if you want to learn more. Uh, right now I would just like to ooh and ah about this texture because it's really pleasing. 
the only thing I'm looking forward to, and I hope that will happen sometime soon as I'm handling it, um, I'm uh, wishing for this leather to become more glossy because now it's it's pretty matte. There is some sheen to it, of course, and by the window, so maybe um, it adds to the effect, but it has a pretty matte feel and a matte look to it. And I know that this kind of leather with, of course, use and oils from your hands, handling it, tossing it into the bag, so I am counting on it to have a different, like, finish to it sometime soon <laughs> we'll see how it goes uh okay so uh let's try to tuck in this notebook the way i envisioned to use it and then i have some other notebooks that are either pocket size this is a passport size insert and this little note is something in between passport and pocket and let's see well let's see what we can do with it <laughs> Okay, so uh, uh, at the moment I have my back pocket here filled with stuff that I will have to take out because I won't be able to reach um, I won't be able to reach this unless I take out the entire planner out of the cover. So yeah, let's put this to the side and the same goes with this and I have these sticky notes here but okay let's just let's just tuck it in and we'll see okay I just don't want to mess up the elastic I'm not gonna be using it in this configuration but would be a shame if it got ruined by me handling it like this and in it goes so the cover regarding height this pocket is actually the perfect size because it's a snug fit but it does fit it doesn't take a lot of force <clears throat> to uh, slide in the notebooks it's okay so this is the way I envision it. I can just take this stuff here and I don't know. Let's tuck it in here for now. So if <laughs> the thing about losing the back pocket from here, but you know what? You can actually, you can, but it's not ideal, but you can use it. To grab something but this is more accessible so and also um, provides a structure to the front flap because this leather is um, it's quite thin uh, there is an option to order your covers lined which means that Colin will use the the same leather on the inside to make it like a double layer and also if you um, order um, the cover which has a lot of little card pockets, card slots, it will also provide uh, more structure to the flap. And the body of the cover will be more firm and structured and, I don't know, heavier of course, but it will have more function with the card slots. So keep that in mind if you're considering um, making an order or thinking about configuring a certain, certain setup because there are options and uh, I think it covers all the bases. I uh, intentionally wanted to go with something simple because the point of this notebook is not to have a bunch of stuff at hand. It's just to uh, carry my pocket moleskin uh, if I toss it in the bag, um, if I take it with me, or just to enjoy the beautiful leather product, um, I can just open it and go do what I need to do. Uh, okay, so this is it. Let me show you the fit. The one thing I am noticing is that this closure is quite uh, long. 
So actually for me to close, this is all like extra, but it's extra now because when this chunks up, uh, the closure will have to have some wiggle room for your notebook to grow. Also, some people like to stuff their covers. And if I would say put in my wallet insert and use this as a wallet and journal on the go, we would have this situation, which is actually pretty, pretty good. And I can most comfortably close it and have my wallet along with my journal in one in one cover and the pocket size is um, it is bigger than the passport I'm used to but it's not a huge it's not a huge deal I can see myself carrying that in my bag I mean I'm carrying a standard size traveler's notebook now so it's heavy as a brick and it's a lot taller and I can manage that so this is also manageable it's just a lot thicker it's like a little brick <laughs> okay so you can do that but if you want to add another let's say notebook and a wallet insert that you cannot do if I remove the wallet insert and just keep the daily and this is just aligned aligned notebook standard thickness and everything pocket size for moleskin you can you can but if you expect bulk this is gonna be a problem but this is doable if you do not expect bulk if it's just notes writing ink paper minimal decorations strictly functional this could be uh, like a monthly or a weekly and this could be a daily you can easily pull that off it is heavy though it is quite heavy but it's it feels nice in the hand it's a little it's a full notebook just I'm worried about the pen loop it's on the inside so if you want to use a pen let's grab a pen if you want to use a pen and you put two notebooks inside doable and this is this is a little Caveco sport this is chunky you can use a thinner uh, like a gel pen or a thinner fountain pen and you can do that so the pen loop works and I'm quite happy with um, with the size of the pen loop I have this uh, this is a Twisby Twisby something I'm not sure it has a number I cannot put this inside because the pen loop is not stretched enough it doesn't go around this cap but of course if you want to you can always use a pen loop like this I don't like doing that it feels uh, flimsy to me but some people do that and of course it's there secured with the closure so this is what you can do with the thicker pens and I don't know which one, let's see. I have my Sailor Pro Gear Slim. This is not as thick as the Twisby. I think this should work. Yeah, it goes over the cap, but it goes. But I would hate doing this all the time. I would hate like forcing it in. I can force it in, but I don't want to. So yeah. This is a generous pen loop, but not that generous, unless you want to fiddle with it all the time. I wouldn't. I, I just want to grab my pen and go. This uh, one uh, went in pretty smoothly. Works like a charm. Okay, now that we have seen, uh, it fits these two notebooks together. That's like a monster heavy situation. Let's just try something else out. And I wanted to see like this configuration if you want to take just a thinner moleskin pocket or pocket standard pocket size notebook that you want for your notes or monthly weekly whatever bullet journal and you want to have a wallet insert because this 
is something you want to have on the go. This is actually pretty generous and uh, the cover feels almost empty. But this is light and portable and could it really could work like this. Like a light, portable, beautiful cover that serves as a wallet and a notebook for notes or planning, weekly, monthly, whatever. So this works. And even if I want to, this is Nolte. It's a weekly layout. I use it as my weekly planner since the beginning of 2023. And it's the cutest size ever. It's something between passport and pocket. See, it's smaller than the pocket size. But also it's a little bit bigger than a standard passport size insert from Traveler's Company. So um, I usually love having this accessible. And if this was a wallet, I would love maybe sometimes having it with me. And if I want to do that, I can. Uh, even though the Nolte is a little bit smaller than the pocket size, it really doesn't hurt the configuration. Because this is also um, a passport size wallet insert. So even if you have a size difference, you can work around it. Except if you really like flush edges and everything being the same size, then of course this will bug you, but it is doable. And you have sufficient space for a pen. So these are the configurations um, I have thought about and wanted to show you. Um, I will link the other channel down below. I think the name of her channel is My Moxie Dreams. Uh, if you ever did any research about the pocket and the eternal leather goods covers, you must have seen her, her videos. I know I have. And they have been very informative and she has been very kind and answered some of my questions over at Instagram uh, when I was deciding whether to get this or which size to get. So yeah, um, it's definitely something worth checking out. Uh, I must say that I'll make like a close-up shot. The craftsmanship is, I have no words. It's absolutely amazing. The attention to detail, uh, like every little thing, it's, it's pristine. And I love the little popper. It's actually one of my favorite things that it's like a little button protruding. And this makes a little sound. I uh, quite enjoy that. I don't know why. <laughs> it's a gold color. I like the contrast. This is my first ever black cover. I never had um, a black cover other than a standard T and I immediately stamped with a bunch of stamps. I, um, I really like the black and the pebbles. I think it looks classy and sophisticated and simple and elegant at the same time. Uh, yeah, I mean the craftsmanship you cannot... you cannot find anything that's less than perfect. I mean, I can show you the stitching, the edges, everywhere you look is just, everything is meticulously done. So I believe that justifies the price. <clears throat> it justifies, it also, uh, the type of leather justifies the price and it's a beautiful cover. Uh, regarding the previous cover I had, it was for the weeks and uh, I ordered it to be slightly bigger because I wanted to use the cover on cover on the weeks. And that little difference in height annoyed me so much and I had a feeling that something was not sitting right. And I was the one asking for extra height, that's, that's on me. Something was not sitting right and the leather had such a strong smell. I would get headaches. I had that cover, I mean, short. I don't know if it was a couple of weeks maybe. Uh, and it did air out. It did. 
it got better it's just the leather was i don't know maybe fresher than the other hides or something and at the beginning it was such a strong scent i used to not even keep it on my desk but at the table besides my desk and i would sense that aroma which is usually really really pleasant but this was such a strong odor it was causing me migraines a little literal headache so um after it did air out and after i just couldn't i mean i'm really picky <laughs> i'm a really picky person and i have certain preferences i know i'm hard to please uh, regarding leather products and that's completely on me but something didn't sit right and I sold it and that's the end of that story but I will never get over the weak size the cover in the natural leather and I think sometime in the future I do see it <laughs> I do see myself trying again the natural leather and just uh, hoping that the fragrance issue was a one time I don't know feature <laughs> something happened and it didn't get a chance to air out bet before Colin worked with it or mailed it out or something uh, I hope this was informative I will wrap this up because I don't want it to be a super long uh, video um, it is quite chatty but I have to give you the information you know <laughs> Uh, thank you for joining me. I will leave the info down below and check out my Moxie Dreams. Her videos uh, are very, very informative, valuable info if you are considering. If you are not considering, uh, please do not watch them because um, you might get the urge to consider. <laughs> okay, talk to you some next time and bye!